Hello and welcome to Blitz on Windstream Channel 4. I'm your host, Brian Carter. Got a great show for you today. If you stick around with us, you'll find out not only the Blitz Player of the Week, but the Blitz Player of the Year for each individual sport this fall season. Right now, football season may be over for most teams, but I'm here at White County High School to sum up the Warriors football season with head coach Greg Seagraves. Coach, uh, we're, ab we're absolutely happy to have you on the program for the second time now. You were the first coach to be on the program, and now you're back here again, so nothing new for you. Well, thank you, Brian. I'm, I'm glad to be here, and I just appreciate all the things that you've done all year for all the high schools and all the kids in the area. I've enjoyed it, Coach. Uh, unfortunately, this is the second straight season. It's got to be frustrating for you that your team finishes out very strong. You went 7-3. and three. You had an outstanding season. Unfortunately, you just lost to three big teams, Gainesville, North Hall, and Creekview, and somehow were held out of the playoffs. It's got to be frustrating well, for you. Well, it is because our kids work extremely hard, and, you know, that's always one of our goals every year to get into the playoffs, uh, as, as it is every team. And, uh, you know, the, you know, you set that as your goal, and the kids work hard, and, and, and it's a tough region. I mean, 7 Triple. A was voted the, the toughest region in the state this year and, and we knew that going in. We knew we had to beat either Creekview or North Hall going in and, and we didn't get the job done that we had to do so uh, you know that, that's part of it and you know all you can do is learn from the mistakes that we made and, and just try to get better. Now, Coach, uh, last time we met with you, uh, we also got to spend a little bit of time with Tyler Dotson, senior quarterback here at White County. And for whatever reason, you decided to make a switch to uh, put Cole Seagraves in the spot as the starting quarterback near the end of the season and had some outstanding, surprising success for you guys. And it was a, a, key, a key part of the team winning out there at the end. Uh, how important was his success at the end of this season going into next year? Well, I think it's important. It, you know, one, it gives him confidence. But I think even more important than that, it, it gives his teammates, uh, you know, confidence that hey, he can step in and, and and get the job done. And and I thought he did a lot of good things there at the end of the season, and 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 was able to run the offense extremely well. And it wasn't anything that Tyler had done. Tyler had done a lot of good things as well. Uh, we just found some different ways to use Tyler, and, and I think it worked out good for uh, for you know for our team. Now, no doubt, uh, one of the, the this Warriors football team wouldn't be the same without junior running back Ashley Lowry. He had an outstanding year, over 1,100 yards of total offense and 12 touchdowns. Just how special of a player is Ashley Lowry? Well, Brian, I tell you, he, he's phenomenal. You know, first of all, let me just say, you know, he's a great kid. He he does uh, extremely well in the classrooms. He's he's well behaved. He's well liked by his teachers and administrators in the school. Uh, and and then you get to the football part of it. He's just a phenomenal athlete. He works extremely hard. Uh, you know, he he both sides of the ball. You know, offense and defense. And and we use him at uh, running back, and we use him at the wide receiver position. And a lot of times he'll go back there and take a snap. At, you know, in a wildcat position. Position and and get some big yards as well. So just uh, just a phenomenal player and 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 at the same time he's got some good schools looking at him. George is recruiting him right now, Ole Miss. So we're excited for him as well. Yeah, as you said, he's he's going to be one of the most elite players in the region next year for sure. Uh, is there any question whether or not he's going to be the center point of this uh, offense next year? No, there, there's no doubt. You know, we're just going to find different ways to get the football into his hands. And, and fortunately, you know, we've got a lot of skilled players coming back. So it's going to take some pressure off him as well. We'll be able to to, to spread the wealth a little bit and, and uh, should be very explosive on offense. But, uh, yeah, he, he's going to be the, 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 the center point of, of what we're trying to do. And, and uh, like I said, we'll just try to find different ways to get him the football. And I'm sure that will that'll, uh, keep you guys on the winning track. Now, the number one enemy for a team like yours that comes so close to making it in the playoffs and doesn't get there is going to be team turnover. Talk a little bit about the key players who you're going to have just pride from your fingers come May. Well, we lost some good seniors, and, and every school does. Uh, you know, it's just part of the process. But, you know, we, we talked about Tyler Dotson earlier and his speed and what he brings to the team. And, and I think two other guys, or really three other seniors uh, that you can't do without mentioning. And, and first is our kicker, uh, Mark Bardenworp, or just uh, outstanding year and phenomenal kicker. He's certainly going to be missed. Tyler Hamilton, defensive line, has just been starting for four years and just an absolute tear on the defense. And LaFonga Tokyo at the offensive line. So, and we've got a lot of other good seniors, but those are the main kids that, you know, it's going to be a hard time or it's going to be hard to fill their shoes, and, and uh, we're certainly going to miss them. Now, I know it's, it's a bit early, obviously, to go ahead and pencil in replacements for those guys, but do you kind of have an idea yet of, of who are, who's going to be able to fill those holes that of the players that are leaving? 
Brian, you know, we're constantly updating the depth chart. And yeah, we, we have an off-season depth chart right now, and certainly it can change going in the spring and then back in the fall. But, you know, we're always looking uh, at different kids and, and always looking at the depth chart. Uh, and we feel like we've got a great nucleus of kids coming back, and it's going to be real interesting to see how the regions align next year. Now, Coach, uh, next year it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to see how White County is going to come back from, from coming so close again to making it in the playoffs. Uh, I know they come up every year fired up, ready to make it into the playoffs, but next year how, how do you think they're going to respond? Well, I don't think without a doubt our expectations are going to be high. Uh, you know, we're going to expect to get in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I think with a good off season. Uh, again, we don't know how the region is going to turn out, but I think a, a good off season. I, you know, I think we'll better meet our expectations. Now let's talk a little about that region. Obviously, the realignment process going on right now, and you got uh, Flyer Branch has been in seven AAA their entire existence, and now they're they're going to be bumping up to four A. Uh, West Forsyth is going all the way up from three A to five A, and then you've got Creekview, who never really seemed to fit in in seven AAA. Anyways, they're they're moving up to four A, and East Hall is bumping down, which will help them. Um, what are, what are you, what is your thoughts on that, and uh, how do you think that the realignment is going to affect seven AAA football? Well, it's going to be interesting, and you know, first of all, uh, you know, we met as a region uh, just a few days back, and uh, and and I was specifically told those coaches we're going to miss miss them coaches because they're uh, some great guys, but at the same time, we're not going to miss yeah. a Creek View and the Flowery Branches and and the West Forsyth because they're such good football programs. But it's going to be real interesting. Uh, you know, there's a lot of speculation. Is Buford coming up to AAA? Will Hart County and Elbert County stay down to AA? What I think is going to happen, I believe we're going to be the new 8 AAA region. Uh, I think Gilmer and Pickens will go up to Ringgold, LFO, uh, Dalton. I think that will become the new 7 AAA region. I think they'll combine the Hall County schools, ourselves, Lumpkin County, with Stevens and Franklin. I think that will become the, the new 8 AAA region. All right, Coach, thanks again for being on the show with us for a second time. We really enjoy having you on the show, and hopefully next season at this time you, you'll be unavailable for an interview uh, because you'll be preparing for the playoffs. I hope so, Brian, and thank you again for all that you've done. No, no problem. We're not leaving the field just yet. When we come back in about 30 seconds, we're going to visit with star running back Ashley Lowry.